Hey everyone and welcome in this new tutorial where I'm going to show you a new way to create infinite base lengths inside of Ableton 12. So before starting with this tutorial I would like to remind you that all of the samples are going to be from our new sample pack called Oscillate which is a collection of one shot loops, construction kits and much more that you can check out from the link in the description below. So we're going to start with this drum loop. As you can hear, just a kick, clap, open heads and some percussions in the background. In this second channel we have a Serum 2 together with Kickstart for the sidechain. As for Serum 2 we are using the preset uh, Don't Stop from our Pressure Serum Soundbank, which is a collection of Serum presets done exclusively for the new Serum 2. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a new MIDI track and we are gonna make it one bar and we are gonna uh, extend it for the entire four bars. Now uh, we're gonna select a scale. So we're gonna go for E minor in this case. So nothing particular, just random scale. And we're gonna click on a scale here. In this way, we are only gonna visualize the notes of that scale. So uh, what we want to do is start with a really basic pattern in the same key. So we're gonna start in E and we're gonna create a pattern for this bass. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of the notes and by clicking option we are gonna drag the notes on all of the different notes from C3 to B3. So this is the range inside of which we are gonna create our bass line. Uh, you can go all the way to E4 if you want to but that it also depends on the type of baseline that you're using. I think we can uh, actually keep it until C so that we have a full octave here. Now uh, what you want to do is you want to go down there and make sure that show lane chance is selected. So usually you will find it uh, with the velocity only but you want to make sure that uh, you also are visualizing the chance. I'm gonna explain you later on why we need that. As for now we're gonna use this uh, play one button. So we're gonna select all of the notes here and we're gonna click on play one. We're gonna do that for all of the different notes. So uh, make sure that you are selecting all of the notes that are playing together and then click play one like this. And now what Ableton will do is it will randomly choose one note between this selection and it will automatically play. So as you can hear each time we have a different uh, bass line and what you can do after that is uh, create a new track, go into resampling as the input and you can just record the bass lines like this. Then you can pick your favorite one, for example I like this one. So you can simply cut the audio and do something like this and then here you have your bass line. So I'm gonna show you a couple of more tricks and tips. So uh, as I told you, if we go into the chance here, as you can see, we have this chance randomized and this is to randomize the chance of the different notes being played. So if we reduce that to around 50%, this note is gonna have a 50% chance of being played. So as you can hear sometimes it gets played, sometimes it does. And what you can do here is you can click on uh, randomize, you can select everything, click on randomize and uh, you will have different values for all the different notes. Now uh, if you go too low with the chance percentage it might happen that uh, none of the notes will play so you want to make sure that you reduce uh, the randomize between 10 and 30 percent so around 20 percent is fine so that the chance percentage is always high. Thank you. 
Now, uh, this trick is very helpful when you want to create uh, some kind of arpeggiated bass line. So uh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to place a note basically every 16th. So something like this. So uh, let's play uh, with everything at 100%. So we get all of the notes and obviously we are going to have different patterns every time. And then again, you can select the pattern that fits better with your track. Obviously, everything will be in scale since all of the notes are in E minor. And uh, yeah, basically, this is how you can create infinite bass lines inside of Ableton 12 uh, with this new play one and chance feature. So don't forget to check out Oscillate from the link in the description below. Let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye.